Hello everybody and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. I've uh, been doing a little bit of work on auto crafting in between episodes. I'm going to show you that real quick and then I don't want to do auto crafting in this episode. Uh, I've been thinking about doing something else. But anyway, here's what's going on uh, since last time. Uh, let's see. I basically reorganized all the auto crafting. Um, you can see I've expanded the uh, coprocessor and storage area so that I can get some uh, some things running in parallel. That's connected here. I've got this dense cable bus running along past the auto crafting processing stations, and I'll show you those in a second. And then there's this line running over to pick up the soul sand, the clay. It actually runs along back here and picks up the cobble, sand, and uh, gravel, and dust as well. The reason for that is the output of the sifting, the auto sifter, basically used all 32 channels in this dense bus. So um, yeah, I needed a few more just to pick up the, uh, the gravel, sand, and dust. I moved the glass back here so that I'd have a, uh, a constant supply of glass. Hang on. I'm not getting nearly as much... Uh... Oh, I've got the sand turned off because I was trying to build some up. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Anyway, um, you can see here I had to do a little bit of creative cabling to, uh, to get everything to come out without joining into each other and all that using some covers. I'd kind of like to clean this up at some point, but it's uh, it's kind of a low priority right now because it does work. And you can see here I'm getting a little bit of excess. I think I just used some Certus Quartz, so let's... Uh, nope. Um, I'll have to upgrade that barrel pretty soon. Um, but anyway, over here I have... Um, the crystal growth chamber set up so that it can make the pure crystals. I have the uh, a pair of pulverizers set up and they can do um, all the pulverized metals, pulverized obsidian, nether quartz, the dust that I need. I've got a redstone furnace set up right now just for hardened clay but uh, probably gonna get some some toast going over there. That seems to be the, the food that I'm settling on. And then in here I have the um, advanced inscriber that is set up to make all of my logic components. This is important um, because these things take a lot of different steps to make. Um, and I want to note one item about making that pattern. So you can see over in the terminal interface you can see everything as well. But the process to make this encoded pattern, each of these, you can see it, I, it's set up to create one printed silicon and one inscriber silicon press with one silicon and one inscriber silicon press. Um, so it's not actually creating an inscriber silicon press, it's just returning it. But it's important when you're in the terminal building the pattern that you put the inscriber press in both sides. That way the system knows that it's going to get it back. Uh, if you don't do that, it still gets it back, but the auto crafting thinks that it's going to be missing. Um, so if you're only doing one, no problem. But if you, let's say you do a recipe that needs you to have three or four, it won't be able to process it because it thinks it's going to run out of presses and it doesn't know how to build anymore. So just a tip um, that confused me for a minute while I was like, what am I doing wrong? And then I figured it out. And then I've also got this dense cable running over and I went ahead and, and put all of the farm outputs uh, in the system as well. Now I've got the farm uh, no longer shearing just because it was uh, going absolutely crazy. In fact, I think I turned off the tree farm altogether. Uh, let me go check on that. Yes, I did. I turned off the tree farm altogether just because I was totally overloaded with wood. 
which is, I guess, a decent problem to have, but uh, it was it was getting really irritating. So anyway, that's where we are. I've got a lot of open space up here, and uh, really the last couple of episodes I've all been have all been downstairs working on stuff. So I want to do something different. Um, we do have the um, redstone ore that we need to make redstone dendrum seeds, and we could probably make some good progress in here. Uh, need a milk bucket. Yeah, we can. Uh, let's do this. Let's let's work through uh, the Sky Farm quest book. So first thing, it'll be real easy to get a milk bucket. Also taught the auto crafter how to make lots of things. Um, let's look at that real quick. The auto crafting knows how to make um, well everything you see here. Uh, the ingots are important because I have the um, the system storing in block form. It knows how to make invar. Actually, wait a minute. It knows how to make invar ingots. With that, it does not. I need to. I need to teach it how to make Envar, how to make Envar blend. Uh, that's the reason that I set up the pulverizer, because a lot of the uh, metals, if you look at Envar, Envar blend can be made with um, two pulverized iron and a pulverized nickel, and then you, um, you can smelt it to make an ingot. So that'll be a, a really easy way of doing smelting. We won't have to use uh, this guy as much anymore. You can see I also set up on trying to auto craft gears over here. It's not quite done yet. Uh, it won't auto output. I've been trying a couple different things with uh, redstone signaling to try to get this, uh, this seared faucet to work properly. I'm going to have to do some more experimentation with that. It's just not working. But anyway, uh, let's go get that milk bucket. So as you'll recall, when I did the sheep, I, for some reason, had a cow spawn, and it's got 256 buckets of milk. Um, and there we go. Also, we've gotten uh, 133 buckets of sewage, and... Uh, just under a bucket of mob essence. I'm not actually sure where the mob essence came from, but uh, I noticed it in the system and, and made a bucket, or made a, a drum for it. Whoa, that was that was milk. Uh, hang on. Be very, very careful right-clicking with a milk bucket. It can do interesting things. I'm just going to collect this uh, torch that I managed to knock down with my rogue milk bucket. All right, let's uh, let's turn that milk bucket in real quick, shall we? Or it's it's just a detect, and we get a quarter of a heart and spawn a cow, spilling the milk. Ah, we need to make fresh milk, which is just done like that. And you can use that for a lot of uh, tasks uh, for cooking, for example. Okay, I don't see any any other yellow X's, and that is good. Okay, let's claim that. We get our quarter of a heart. And back we go. See, I'm going to put the bucket away. I'm going to put the fresh milk away. I'm going to put the spawn cow away. I must be storing the heart somewhere else. Let me go. Uh... Yep, there's the. Ooh, I've probably got enough to uh, make a full heart at this point. So we will combine 
two quarters to make a half, and two halves to make a full heart, and yay, five lives. All right, next up, we need to make a presser. Okay, we get 16 raw clams as a result. Oogie. Presser is simply pistons with iron or bronze. Pistons are one of those things that I know how to auto craft. And now we have pistons. Have I mentioned that I really like auto crafting? I thought I'd mentioned that. And it looks like we're out of iron ingots, so let me throw a couple more in the system just, uh, just for fun because there it's used in so many things. All right, and now we need to get a silken tofu and a soy milk. Um, we need to get soybeans for that. And soybeans can be had crossing bean with rice, and I'm not sure if I have either of those. So uh, that could be something for uh, for us to work on. All right, the next one is the redstone dendrum, and we are going to need our redstone, uh, nether redstone ore to become regular redstone ore for that. And we do that by, if I remember correctly, tossing it in the furnace and smelting it. And we should get some redstone ore. Now, redstone dendrum, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that or if I'm, if I'm getting all the syllables. Let's see. Redstodendrum. Redstodendrum? Okay. Redstodendrum seeds are made from red tulip and daisy with soil with a redstone ore below. We've now got a redstone ore. So we need to make all of these uh, seeds. And I've shown um, crossbreeding with crops before, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to run through it. So real quick, daisy requires dandelion and blue orchid. Dandelion is sugar with melon. I have both of those. Blue Orchid is Poppy with Dandelion. Poppy is Sugar with Pumpkin. I have all of that, all of that, all of that. Red Tulip is Poppy, Sugar Cane Pumpkin. We've got that. Allium is Poppy and Blue Orchid. Again, you can see it's it's just going to be a lot of r repetitive crafting of our mutating of crops. So I'm going to run through that uh, real quick, and I will be right back. Right, I'm back, and just as a reminder, we're going for redstodendrum. We need red tulip crossed with daisy on top of soil with redstone on below. So red tulip and daisy. That's, let's clean this up a little bit. Red tulip, daisy, you can see all the leftovers from what I've been doing. There's my redstone ore. So let's, uh, dig down and get this built. Okay. And fortunately, my uh, area below is still okay. So first things first, let's plant these guys. I'm not going to set the other crops, just crop sticks, just because I don't want any weeds to grow. Since I'm using the watering can to speed up the growth ticks. Got our red tulip seeds over here. Oh, I forgot to analyze it. That's potentially important. Let's take a look at the agricultural journal since it's been updated quite a bit. You can see we've got several mutations uh, figured out already just by uh, looking through it. Um, Basically, all of the uh, 
the items in this particular chain of uh, seeds just gives you dyes, which can be quite useful. So I'm going to grow these up, and then uh, then I should be all set with the redstone ore under that block of dirt in the middle, just to uh, immediately set the uh, double crops and give it a try. I do want to get all of the or get both of these up to 100% growth though before I do that. I'm not worrying about getting everything up to 10 10 10 um, on these intermediates. I'll do that for for any that I need to produce a lot of. Um, but for for just going after the uh, the red syndendrum plant, it doesn't really seem worth it. Wow, these are not growing very fast. I wonder if it's because it's night. Let's go. Uh, Let's go make it daytime. It doesn't seem to be going that much faster. Oh well. It didn't take that long to try it out. There we are. Let's eat something real quick. And now, eh, wheats. Daisy seeds, not what I'm going for. Red Stendendrum. Awesome. I'd like to see what the plant looks like personally. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, it's not wanting to grow. Oh, there we go, finally got a little bit. Every time I think, oh, I'll just pause it and be back when it's done, it, it gives me a couple of ticks that it grows. So I'm not uh, not sure if I'm just having bad luck on the... There we go. That's kind of cool looking. Neat. And then uh, if I right-click it, empty-handed, I get redstone. Very cool. All right, let's... Uh, Let's put away the dyes. So I got some light gray and some light blue and some dandelion yellow and some rose red. I'm going to put the redstone ore away as well and some magenta dye. Then uh, I've got a couple of filing cabinets over here for seeds. So in the chest I'm keeping um, basically my, my current best of each uh, of each one that I'm you know, working on basically. So I've got a three, 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 a three, two, okay. So there's the blue orchid. I think I only have one red tulip. That poppy is not identified. That'd be 
that one. All the others that are just sort of extras I'm tossing into this filing cabinet uh, just to hang on to them. All right, so we got the red stodendron. Let's see what's next. We get more red stodendron seeds. Also one one one. So nothing interesting. And seeds can be upgraded through mutation. Place two seeds. Okay, this is this is basically mutating everything. So we got that. And now irrigation. A better way to irrigate farms exists. Why deal with blocks of water when you fall into everywhere? Instead, build an irrigation system. Um, made from water tanks, water channels, water channel valves. Tanks are multi-block as long as the water level inside the tank is higher than the water level in the channels. Okay, so wants us to build a wooden channel valve, a wooden water tank, a wooden irrigation channel, and a sprinkler. Oh, we did get a uh, magnum torch from that last, which is a cool block. Um, it has some properties to stop mobs from spawning, so. I've got it pretty well, uh, you know, set up. This area doesn't uh, doesn't get mob spawns, but when I open my gateway into the Nether, that's going to be a block that I uh, that I'm going to want to use, or a, a thing that I'm going to want to use. So I'm going to keep that uh, until then. Market research. The market block will be a big help for people who don't care to research every mutation. Just buy the saplings and seeds that you want. Oh yeah, that sounds great. How much is it? What do you have to? How do you build one? An emerald with wool and planks. Yeah, we can totally do this. Oh, that's useful. So buy asparagus, barley, bean, broccoli, cauliflower. Very nice. So basically, get a new seed type for an emerald. That is super useful. I wish I had known about that block a while ago, because some of this stuff was boring. Anyway. We will claim our emerald and our reward bag. Let's check out this good reward bag. We get imp skin uh, armor. That's cool. I crafted myself some diamond armor, so uh, yay. But we get, uh, it's got some enchantments, protection, fire protection, blast protection, feather falling, so useful stuff. Well, let's, uh, Make myself an armor stand. Wait a minute, I've got an armor stand downstairs. But it's got a vest on it. Let's go stow this downstairs. Might need to end up making like a wardrobe room just for uh, holding armor. I'm just gonna toss that on there and uh, if I need it, it'll be sitting there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's build some tanks or some uh, irrigation stuff for the rest of the episode. 
a uh, few minutes. So I'm going to build the uh, wooden channel valve Okay, it needs an irrigation channel. What else do we need? We need a water water tank and a sprinkler. several of those um, just because I think they're going to be helpful. Uh, let's build let's build nine just uh, so I can make a three by three. I don't even know if that's like a real size that I can use but hey whatever. I clearly I just didn't count well. Okay, fun times. All right, let's uh, let's go put this together. So um, I think it would be all kinds of fun to have this uh, this river head off into the irrigation tank. So I am going to build my irrigation system right here. Let's see, I want this to be, yeah, I want it to be here. Now, I just need to get water to flow over into it, which I think, yep, you can do it like that. That seems to be working great. So now, if I put the channel valve, let's see, I think I put channel valve, channel, 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 sprinkler. Not quite sure hmm. all right well I thought it was supposed to basically start doing some kind of irrigation uh, idea but um, Maybe it's just not filling very fast. I'm also not quite sure how to close up the hmm. effective tool axe, just out of curiosity. 
Uh, that, uh, that was not effective. Well, was effective in getting rid of it, just not uh, really what I wanted to do. Alright, so I'm going to learn how to uh, do this valve, and I'll be right back. I'm back. So, yeah, I just uh, had to get the water level up high enough, I suppose, to uh, to start the cool little irrigation animation. That's awesome. Um, to turn the valve off, you... Uh, you set a lever on it and turn the lever on the water eventually runs out you can watch the animation as it uh, slowly goes out that you can see this valve is closed at this point and the water level on this side continues to rise the water level on that side continues to fall and now the sprinkler is no longer running Alright, so this is, uh, I think I'll probably put uh, plants to make dyes over here. That'll be fun. But, um, yeah, so that's how you do it. Good times. Let's uh, see how we're doing. Let's claim our reward of three sprinklers and a good reward bag. And we get some fish. Okay. Let's go over here, and this is where I'm keeping the fish for right now. Let's see if anything interesting has come up. Oh, we got a got some plastic sheets, a name tag, stick, tripwire hook. Yeah, got a few interesting things in here. Um, water bottle. Yeah. I don't know, you get, get some interesting things out of the uh, the Fisher block. But anyway, let's, uh, let's toss that stuff into the ME system. I'm going to toss the uh, the sprinklers in there as well, just because I'm not, uh, not planning to use them right now. And let's see, so we've got this whole side done. This side needs the, uh, the silken tofu and the soy milk to be done. Well, let's use this new uh, let's use this new market block. I need soybean. There we go, soybean. Oh, I need an emerald. There we go, soybean seed. That was too easy. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, let's uh, let's try out the new thing. Got some dirt here. Wait a minute. That's the uh, you can't grow things on me dirt. This one will be good. All right, so centered right there. I am not entirely sure how wide this. Um, irrigation system is, but uh, let's make ourselves some soybean while we're uh, while we're growing it. So if I, okay, that one's getting uh, getting moist as well. All right, I'm gonna let that grow a little bit. I'm gonna expand the seeds, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So I um 
this guy's keeping everything moist, so you don't have to put the um, the water blocks in the middle. But um, I'm still going to use the sprinkler over there on that plot to uh, to get everything up. But I've got three soybeans now, so um, this is the presser that we built a little bit ago. The um, presser, I believe, requires power, so I uh, I already put power up here thinking I was going to need it. Just going to set the presser right on it. In fact, let's see if it linked up. Uh, it did not, so okay, does not look like the presser requires power, or maybe it requires a different kind of power, which is entirely possible. It seems to be working, and we will get a soy milk out of it. Awesome. Now how do we get the tofu? Firm tofu and the silken tofu. The firm tofu is silken tofu in the presser. The tofu is soy milk in the presser. Okay, so this, uh, to get this, we just basically get one of these soy milks. Yay. And now we fire all of it back in the presser and we should get this silken tofu out of it. Silken tofu is, uh, what is it useful for? Not much, except getting firm tofu. Firm tofu is useful in lots and lots of food recipes. Um, you can make, well, 68 pages of food recipes out of it. Um, basically it's a meat sub, meat substitute, uh, just like in, uh, in real life. Well, I don't know if it's just a meat substitute in real life, but that's how I've always seen it. Anyway, um, that's going to press for a bit, so uh, let's see if there's anything else in here. Uh, this is locked, locked, locked. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get that unlocked. I'm not quite sure where. It requires one of one quest to be completed elsewhere. I wonder if it's the pressing quest that will unlock it. Maybe. We will see. Uh, we still need to get Man of Steel and Signalum to uh, to finish this up. Okay, we've got our silken tofu and. That one's done. Claim the reward. We get our raw clams. And this is still locked. And it doesn't tell me what's locking it, so, uh, yeah. That one will simply have to wait. But, good stuff. Um, got quite a few things done this time. I've been thinking, I think I'm going to set up um, just some some plants that I'd like to have available, uh, not really food crops, but like the the flowers to make dyes and stuff that I'm not going to need super often, but uh, wouldn't be bad to have a few. And I'm also going to get the, um, the soybeans mutated up a little bit uh, in between episodes, and I will see you next time.